I made a set of bowls a while back and gave them away all but one and I want to make another set. How big do I have to make them so they shrink to this size after firing? I could use a shrink ruler or even an online shrinkage calculator. And don't get me wrong, these are great tools. However, as a potter, it's useful to know this one formula. Before we start, we need to know the shrinkage rate of your clay. If you're buying your clay, you can often find this on the manufacturer's website. Or you can work it out yourself by measuring. I'll cover this in another explainer. Remember that shrinkage can also depend on the firing temperature. I start by measuring the finished bowl. I measure the width and then the height. So the fired width is 125 mil and the height is 62 mil. So to calculate the throwing width, I take the fired width and I divide it by 100 minus the shrinkage rate. So that's 125 mil divided by 100% minus 11% shrinkage or 125 divided by 0.89. So the throwing width is 140 mil. And so now I do it again with the height. So the throwing height will equal the final height divided by 100% minus the shrinkage rate. That is 62 divided by 100% minus 11%. So 62 divided by 0.89 making the throwing height 70 millimetres. So if you don't have a shrinkage ruler or access to a shrinkage calculator, you can easily calculate the shrinkage yourself. Look out for our How Much Clay video. And happy potting!